good day, my viewers. My name is Ola Kodjibamdele. I'm the managing partner of PPS, a, f a firm of uh, child accountants that specializes in audits and task consulting, located in the heart of Ikeja, Lagos, Nigeria. So today I would like to present to you the task implications for agribusiness sector as related to Finance Bill 2020. In accordance with the Finance Bill 2020, the following are the major changes taxpayers in agri sector must pay attention to. Number one, this particular uh, Finance Bill encourages access to more bank loans to encourage uh, more people going to agricultural business by making it possible for banks to hand interest on such loans without paying taxes on them. So let me read it out. Interest income hand on loan given to a business in primary agricultural production shall be exempted from tax provided that moratorium is not less than 12 months and the rate of interest on the loan is not more than the base lending rate at the time the loan was granted, refinanced, or otherwise restructured. In essence, government wants to encourage more players in primary sector production of agricultural business. So now they encourage banks to give them loan by making sure that interest that such banks hand from giving such loans are exempted from taxes provided that number one uh the grace period moratorium between when they take the loan and start repayment is not less than 12 months it used to be 18 months was now restricted to 12 months and that the lending the lending rate or the interest is not more than the base lending rate at the time the loan was granted so those are just the two conditions to that so more players, we expect more players to come into agricultural sector, especially the primary production aspect, because of these uh, uh, more hassles to loans. Number two change, as related to agricultural sector, six years tax holidays for small and medium enterprises in agri business. Now, a small or medium-sized company engaged in primary agricultural production shall be granted initial four years tax period an extension of additional two years upon application so this is restricted to companies that are into primary production in agribusiness and that are small and medium scale so if you are outside that range you will not enjoy the benefit of you if you are small or medium scale involved in primary production in agri sector then you will have four years access four years tax-free period upon you have to apply then after the fourth year you see can still apply for two more years to make maximum six years tax holiday for players in primary production agri sector and that are that belong to small scale or medium scale businesses number three major change in agri sector now there's a new definition for smes the same definition for smes now small size companies hands gross turnover of 25 million or less while medium sized company has gross turnover greater than 25 million but lesser than 100 million in other words uh, in under 2019 finance bill companies were classified to three categories small medium and large now but specifically for agri sector because the reason for that is the there are some benefits that are under this finance bill that specifically just like i mentioned a while ago specifically for small scale um medium scale so there was a need for them to give clarity to this as far as agri sector is concerned so small scale businesses in agri sector hands 25 million gross turnover or less while medium scale hand between 25 million 
200 million. The large scale businesses has beyond 100 million. All right. The number four major change. New definition of agribusiness. A business that is involved in primary agricultural productions that includes rearing of fish and livestock, growing crops and timber as separate from secondary activities or final processing of the primary produce. Primary production is agricultural while further processing or trading is not. Before now, there was ambiguity as, as to which player in the agri sector is actually into agri because you have farmers that grow livestock, you have farmers that plant crops, and you have some in the value chain that process, you have some others that are traders. Right now, the definition of agri business has now been narrowed down to those guys, the farmers that actually plant seed and grow their crops, or the ones in livestock farming that grow their fish, you know, for human consumption. Anything that has to do with processing and trading are no more classified as agricultural businesses under the new finance bill 2020. Another major change, reduction in custom duty rate for importation of tractor. Custom duty rate for importation of tractors for the purpose of agricultural business has been revised downward from 35% to 5%. This serves as a big incentive to the industry. So this is a big, big, big uh, relief and encouragement to players involved in primary production, especially in cropping, you know, uh, planting crops and all of that. So now they are more encouraged by government to bring in more tractors at a lower cost because the custom rate has been reduced from 35 to 5 percent it's a major 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 encouragement then number six animal fields and renters of agri equipment are now exempted from vat animal feed is accepted from vat meanwhile animal feed is defined as raw or semi-processed feed used to feed animals meant for human consumption or animal raised for purpose of egg, milk, production, etc. Now, this also encourage agribusinesses to encourage farmers so as to keep their production costs low. So anything that has to do with animal feed that they, they buy to feed fish, to feed pigs and the, and the livestock are totally exempted from VAT. All right. Then another one is higher renter or lease of tractors, plows, and other agricultural equipment for agricultural process purposes are also excluded from payment of VAT. This is the further incentives to farmers. So those are the six major changes uh, from finance B2020 that affect uh, agricultural sector. And you know that this bill became effective from January 1st, 2021. Now, she, your company or you are an investor, a farmer, require in part assessment, you know, to know where in your own specific cases, where all these things affect you, then please give us a call today. We'll be ready to provide some assistance. And if you want to get more clarification on this video, please look at the numbers on the slide you can give us a call or send us an email we'll be happy to provide proper clarification response thank you very much bye for now